So you saw this new yeah. rule that the NCAA uh, yes. has just instituted that allows student athletes who are exploring the NBA, they're not fully committed to the NBA, to hire an agent as an advisor. And if they don't get drafted or if they if they decide to come back uh, before the draft, they can come back without any penalty. But now they've decided that that advisor has to have a bachelor's degree. So uh -huh. it can't it can't be a guy like Rich Paul, who is LeBron James's agent. So LeBron James gets all up in arms uh, about this and starts you know tweeting about how. Uh, it, it, Rich Paul is is a target of this, and that the NCAA, you know, can't hold him back. You know, wants to hold him back. And when the reality is, this is probably the NCAA trying to prevent like an uncle or a cousin or some other, you know, unqualified, completely unqualified, uh -huh. like hanger on her uh, yeah. from being, a, you know, a quote, an advisor. But LeBron yeah. makes it about him, and it's of course he does. And it's interesting because LeBron, it's. He's not seeing the bigger picture. There's so many kids that aren't Chris Paul or uh, Rich Paul clients or that level of clients who are really interested in looking at the NBA, right? They're not Chris Paul's. Not, uh, Rich Paul's not even going to look at them. And I'll give you a perfect example from UVA yeah. last year. Uh, yeah. The kid Mamadi Diakite, right? He, yep. he wanted to explore. He ultimately decided to go back to school. But Rich Rich Paul's not looking at him. So. LeBron gets lost sometimes in thinking like all these kids who are, who are leaving early are are trying to be superstars next to him. And mm -hmm. when a lot of them are just trying to explore a dream that they've had since they were 10 years old and picked up the basketball for the first time. You know what it is, Teak? Um, this is from LeBron's point of view. Just, I, I just address that quickly. And then obviously it's more of an NCAA issue, although yeah. we know that, you know, it's, it's, it seems like it's the Rich Paul rule. It's an out-of-control ego, once again, unchecked and untamed in terms of LeBron. But it's also brilliant on the part of LeBron to <laughs> somehow wedge himself into the middle of this. I mean, he's got the hashtag, the Rich Paul rule. In, in totality, I believe that this is so far above Rich Paul, and <clears throat> it's not necessarily directed right at him. I think it is an attempt, and, you know, maybe you want to call me naive. And, again, I don't think the NCAA is very smart. I've said that many times on the show. I've taken many shots at him over the years. But I just think this is an overriding move or, you know, like one, one broad move here to eliminate the unscrupulous agent. I, I truly do. Yeah. And, you know, a bachelor's degree, as I look down and I read, the NBPA cert, uh, certification of at least three years, professional liability insurance, those things are fine. Uh, the in-person exam, having to go to the Indianapolis to take a test seems a little petty. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, that seems actually quite ridiculous. But I am a proponent of education. You know, and I remember years ago when the NYPD implemented or instituted a rule where you needed at least 60 college credits equivalent to an associate's, uh, to a bachelor's degree, uh, to, um, to an associate's degree, uh, or two years of military service. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that knowledge is power. I think that intellect is power and, and potent if used, if used properly. But I'm also aware that college is for everybody. And sometimes the most poignant, the, the most fertile laboratory is not the classroom where you're reading from a book or a laptop, but you're actually mixing it up in terms of real life experience. So there's a lot of angles here, a lot of directions. I don't think it's a bad thing what they do, and I don't think it's totally about Rich Paul. No, no matter what I don't. Says. I don't think it's about Rich Paul at all. To be perfectly honest with you, I think I think you were right. That's self-serving in a sense for LeBron to even broach that. I mm -hmm. think they do want to get rid of the unscrupulous agent, but the the problem is, and in, in the in the. Uh, the fault I have with their logic is that you, a college degree is not necessarily a good determiner of competency, if that mm -hmm. makes any sense. I you know agree what I mean? With you. And I so, agree with you. There's, and there's also been a ton of amazing, successful businessmen and uh, actors, entertainers. Will Smith doesn't have a college degree, right? That's a Rod. Not, a Rod doesn't. A Rod does got a lot of business. And he's, and going he's done on. a ton of stuff, yeah. you know, obviously after his baseball career is over. Bill Gates doesn't have a college degree. Richard Branson doesn't have a college degree. There's, there's, a, bunch, there's a bunch of them. And so I, I think it's just a wrong indicator. The other thing, other issue I have is if they really want to get to the bottom of this and they really want to figure this out, why not just ask the professionals? Because the, the NBA already does this, right? They qualify agents. You have to, you know, pass a certification to be yep. an NBA agent. Why not just go to that group? I mean, what's the difference, right? I know. I... 
this is weird. I got, you know, when, when, I, when I got back to the room and I was doing, you know, just trying to stay in, in touch and tune with everything every day, I'm like, Rich Paul rule, what the hell is this? And I actually <laughs> read it. I'm like, this is just the regurgitation of everything I've already known. You're right. Which is really, You're right. Put it this way, T. If today, if there, and we're going to get to the Raiders, then we're going to do our two days, obviously. I know you started that without yep. me, so we're off and running Tiki and Tierney two days. We're getting ready for first game action on Thursday, so tomorrow we get some playing. Giants, Hard Jets, knots. dude. Giants, <laughs> Jets, we're going down, sucker. Uh, <laughs> they had, they had, had to uh, make it the meaningless game because we actually play in the regular season this year. I know, which is smart. I, agree. I know. We'll see I Daniel agree. Jones. I want to see Daniel Jones tomorrow. Me too. Uh, you guys are pretty banged up, as you know, but I'm looking forward to seeing that. And, and, and all the teams. And I watched Hard Knocks. We'll do it all here. But my point is, if this was like, a real crazy day. Like, say if this was a month ago and it was the Kawhi News yeah. or Anthony Davis got dealt. Honestly, this might be in the blast. You're right. I'm not, not, I'm really, it, it's not – I'm not saying that we shouldn't talk about it. I know you hit it yesterday. But I do think it's a gross overreaction by most people. I really don't think there's much to it. No, there's not much to it other than the fact that the NCAA seems to miss uh, misfire on a lot of these things that they do. They're trying to do the right thing. I get yep. it. They're trying to do the right thing. Well, they're, well, 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 but they're also trying to do the right thing while simultaneously protecting their own behinds. Yes. Which, by the way, yes, most you're right. people do in the world. So it's not, yes. it's, it's, not, it's not foreign. That's not a foreign concept. I agree. But then you get LeBron James, who, by the way, yeah. didn't never went to college. Yep. Uh, and, you know, just along with his agent, Rich Paul, and founder of his agency, Clutch Sports. Um, you know, it's, it's like... He takes it personal, LeBron does, even though it has nothing to do with LeBron. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's LeBron, though. It, you know, and the, the only thing, and I don't even, this might be the residue from the implementation of this. I don't think this was um, the core mission. I mean, I know it wasn't, but if you want to at least have a different look or flip the coin over and have a different conversation for a second, let me throw this at you. Now, Rich Paul will still be able to, you know, the automatic one and dones. This does not, I, mean, I know you know this, but people need to know, this doesn't preclude him from doing that. No. If you have, you know, if you have no interest in going back to school, Rich Paul, you're good to go. Rich can still do his thing. But I, I do think maybe on some lower level, uh, maybe this takes the air out of the balloon of, of Rich Paul and the free agent manipulation. Because when you establish relationships with young kids early, if you do right by them, and let's face it, they've got the juice, LeBron, Rich, they're doing the right thing. They're certainly powerful in the, in, in, in the, in the, in the basketball community for sure. And if you, if you strike that relationship early, there's a pretty good chance that once that rookie deal is up, let me take this chess piece here, yep. let me take this guy here, let me move this guy here, and now I control the whole NBA. So maybe indirectly, this takes a small percentage of the juice away from Rich Paul. But yeah, we're on the same page. Yeah.